War swept across the galaxy, and entire solar systems died as the most powerful weapons ever developed ripped a hole in the very fabric of the universe. With full-scale war becoming too costly, disputes, as of last season, are replaced with cyber race competitions. Ladies and gentlemen, these upcoming races promise to be even more deadly than the ones before, as bitterness from the old tehran caladassian War continues to fester. Hell of a way to run a war. Either they replace the war with cyber race, or they let the entire galaxy be destroyed. They can have it. People believe if you can control the black hole, you can control the galaxy. It's just a hole. It's not a multi-dimensional portal or some hidden source of power. Anybody who believes otherwise is a fool. Mugur, Lord of Caledonia, takes the lead in the cyber race preliminaries. Damn! How does it feel to do nothing while your father's murderer gains control of the galaxy? Drive a sled for Terra and avenge him. I'd rather drive for Amazian technocrats or Alchmion traitors than for Terran politicians. Why not Dejnaknan bankers or Cereban scientists? Worthy worlds all, but none so much as Terra. Whatever you think of politicians, who would you trust more to control the riches of the black hole? I made a promise to my father. A promise? Or are you afraid to face Mugyor? Do you want your Alicia to live under Mugyor's rule? That's what will happen if you don't race. Leave her out of this. Too bad. We would rather have you come willingly. What the? Insurance. You are now a driver for the power and glory of Tara. I love you, Alicia. I'll get you back. The only way you can do that is by racing and winning. Otherwise... We have no choice, Shaw. I'll be your pit chief. You are both wise. And you're political scum. Your government is a fair one, young Shaw. You have your father's blood running through you. He was a true hero. But for your first race, just make it out alive. A politician with sentiment? Who would have known? Something like a Bactian sandworm with a heart. Just doing my part for the cause. Now that you are properly motivated, here are your goals, Shaw. The Caladassian Mugyor is racing one of his sleds with a cloaked pulsar. Destroy as many sleds as you can, but don't face Mugyor. What do I get if I succeed? You're a greedy one. I'll throw in 500 credits. For each sled you destroy. But I would reinvest your credits in your sled for the upcoming race. You're gonna need all the help you can get for the next race. If you live. What about Alicia? If you race well, you'll see her. If not. Shaw is not the only newcomer. For the first time, the Terrabuns have brought a number of novice drivers. Those cyber sluts are going to take some beating. Experts believe that they and Shaw are in way over their heads. Will any of them survive? We'll have to wait and see. For more on the latest breaking news, turn in at 8700 for our next broadcast. I poked around and discovered that IDI, a driver from Drum, has marked you for this race. That's comforting to know. They hate the Terrans even more than the Alchemans. So how do I get them off my back? You don't have the experience to be aggressive, Shaw. Just be careful. We have 2,000 credits to equip you with. Here are your choices.
Drive carefully, Shaw, and win so I can see you again. All I can do is think about you. I'll do my best. I love you. This next story is certain to affect the upcoming cyber race. A spokesman for Orion Sportswear announced a 15,000 credit deal with Skevin the Snake of the Alpian team. He said with the Snake wearing their brand, they expect a 100% increase in sales. Skevin the Snake promises to use the credits to add extra power and speed to his sled for the next race. Stay tuned for more news after these messages. I need more credits to keep up with Skemet. I work for the government, not a lending institution. Your real credit to your planet. My sources tell me Mugyor has a contract out on you. Drock has orders to wipe you out. Get him first, and I'll throw in 2,000 credits. Oh, and there's the Cerebin. You can't kill them with their Borglum armor. But if you beat them, there's 500 credits per sled in it for you. I can't do all that. Not without help, but we do have options. You look like you need advice. From whom? One who knows. I am Kali. How much will it cost me? A mere token for its value. A thousand credits. I hope you're worth it, old woman. Beware of Daruk. Allow someone else to assassinate him. The Scarandula Force. What do you have to offer? Necht kozar maskun duck. Try me. Ish koz mushala et kartozen. Electar et sitozen. Leotar in cantor. I'll take both. Haven't looked in a mirror lately, have you? Just and bow gunshin tarot. What are the numbers? You can dal boon ro taro tecto. With those eyes, you'd think you wouldn't have any problem seeing through me. See call up just a dum de taran. No. I'm asking for services. What can you do for me? Lach kozar si masan drak. E oli madaga dozol la konditas aris. Do it. Our next story is certain to affect the upcoming cyber race. According to our sources, Skem the Snake of the Alchemian team plans on using the money he's earned from racing and through endorsements to equip his team sleds with double loads of spike mines and full tanks of juice hyperfuel. The artist of the drone plans a protest, claiming the fuel is toxic and injuring anyone who breathes its fumes. Judges have said they'll allow the fuel. Mugior plans to annihilate the snake in the next race. Do we have countermeasures? Use the Alchemian sleds. Seize them. Let them use their minds on your targets. Here are your equipment options.
Galactic tension rose today when Terran officials accused Mugur of bad faith in treaty negotiations that could make the cyber race a permanent replacement to the horrors of interstellar war. We'll have more on that story. At 4200. That mug yours is going to destroy the galaxy. Not if you get on the ball and win for us, Shaw. Spoken like a true politician. Vaknar of Drum is planning to gain favor with Mugyur by killing Alchemian drivers. Kill Vaknar and you'll earn 3,000 credits. And make sure at least one Alchemian finishes. We need to put Alchemians in our debt. Which will put me in your debt. To the tune of 2,000 credits and teach Mugyor's drivers that they're driving for the wrong side. Prevent at least one driver from finishing, and I'll donate 2,000 credits to your favor. Shaw, sure. let us speak. How much this time? A thousand credits. No harm in trying. Allow the other sleds to approach you. Then break. Eliminate them when they pass by. Vidal, Tehran. What do you have today? Das Tizal Kos Glozeklek. Grach Dasa Glakar Shalat. I'll take both. Glekor Galid Zateran. What can you offer me? Bless Caro, keep it the colon this care at last. Good, do it. And now the latest news of the upcoming cyber race. Mentor of the Cerebins has announced the vendetta against both Mugger and Shaw. Their war destroyed by people and I will destroy them, and they're declared at a news conference. He also announced that he's acquired a stinger beam that can disrupt his opponent's sensors. I'll be tuned in. How do I defend against this stinger? By avoiding it. Here are your equipment options.
I can hardly see you, Shaw. Boost your matter gain. I won't stand it in here any longer. The food is awful. I'm doing the best I can, Alicia. Just hold out a little longer. Here's the latest news concerning the black hole. Lawyers for Terra appeared in Galactic High Court today, asking for an injunction that would force all worlds to share the technology coming from the black hole. Justices dismissed the claim as frivolous. One moment, please. We have to interrupt this sportscast to bring you a breaking story from the black hole. Our man Diggs is first at the scene of what may be proof positive that there is life beyond the black hole. Jiggs? Late today, an abandoned spacecraft emerged from the black hole. Our scans can't detect exactly where the craft is from, but we may soon find out. A multi-planetary scientific expedition has just boarded the craft. The only thing that is clear is that the ship and its contents belong to whomever will control the black hole. Can you give us any indication what technologies the ship may provide? New weapons, certainly. The rest, only time will tell. The 10,000 credit question remains. What else will emerge from the black hole? A news-breaking story indeed. Tune in at 5400 for in-depth coverage and analysis. Don't handle surprises well, eh, Dobbs? Well enough to know this is now your agenda for the next race. Let Mugyar's henchmen know they should join forces with Terra, especially Rilke. Each Kaladassian sled you eliminate will earn you 2,000 credits. Shaw, sure. let us speak. How much this time? Two thousand credits. No harm in trying. Force the other sleds to crash along the terrain. Hidal Tehran. What do you have today? Das Tizal Kos Glozeklek. Grach Dasar Glakar Shalat. I'll take both. Glekor Kalizateran. What can you offer me? Bless Carol, Kavriti Kolantes Keratas. Good, do it. Here the Cyber Race News Update. Apparently, the wide pirating of the holographic projector, the weapons discovered aboard the mystery ship in the black hole, means that all drivers in this next race will have access to the projector. It also means it will be nearly impossible to know who is shooting at whom. Sounds like an exciting race! It'll be impossible to know which target to shoot at. Remember, holographic images are only a mirror of reality. Here are your equipment options.
The Terran president endured a lesson from the Alpian leader today after applying to become an Alpian protectorate. While the move does subvert Terran authority, it should keep Caledastian forces at bay. Now stay tuned for our business news segment. The Terran market crashed today, down to 3 million. Looks like you may have a new boss soon, Dobbs. As would you. And Alpians can be snakes to do business with. At least they're not single-celled organisms, Dobbs. Can it, Lardo? You're a mediocre driver, Shaw. I can only expect some limited goals to be met. You are to prevent drivers Punjabi of the Drum or Intoshi of Kaladasia from finishing the race. Each sled you retire will earn you 2,000 credits. Hidal, Tehran. What do you have today? Das Dizal Kos Glozeklek Grach Dasar Glakar Shalat I'll take both. Glekor Galid Zateran What can you offer me? Bless Karo Kifriti Kholan Des Kiratlas Good, do it. Here's the news for all you Cyber Race fans. Caledastian technicians announced today that the automatic pilot, the device discovered in the black hole after the last Cyber Race, has been installed on Mugger's sled. The device will enable Mugger to automatically pilot himself into the best attack position. The device was given as a tribute to Mugger's great kindness. He'll be able to hunt me down like a hawk hunts a mouse. Even a hawk can't catch the mouse if he knows how to hide. Here are your equipment options.
I'll call you again as soon as I can, Alicia. I'd rather see you in person. When will that be, Shaw? Soon, my Vermushin pet. Here's the message of interest to all citizens of Terra. Mugger, Lord of Caledapia, has promised today that he will liberate the oppressed and impoverished masses of the Terran sector soon. Upcoming interviews with terrified Terrans throughout the sector. Stay tuned. You two seem to elicit the same response in people. You sure you don't have a long-lost brother or something? If I could elicit the same fear in you, maybe I could get you to win a little more often. Avoiding your face is enough motivation to make us win every race. As always, the Charmer, Lardo. Shaw, it's time for a direct assault on Mugyor himself. Destroy him and earn 25,000 credits. Each Caladassian driver you eliminate earns you 8,000 credits. Fidal, Tehran. What do you have today? Das Tizal Kos Glosiklik. Grach Dasa Glakar Shalas. I'll take both. Glekor Kalid Zateran. What can you offer me? Gles Karo Kifritik Holandes Kiratas. Good, do it. Here's the latest news from Cyclidia. In honor of Mogyur's kind liberation from Terran tyranny, Cyclidians have acquired the new Blinder for the exclusive use of Caledicia and their allies, the Drum. Found in the black hole, this powerful weapon will instantaneously blind the driver and all electronic systems. Look out, Terra, if you can. This Blinder sounds like trouble. The Blinder isn't as reliable as you think. They may be cutting their own throats. Here are your equipment options.
Hey, you Major, Lord of Caladacia, winner of the Cyber Race, and permanent ruler of the galaxy. Citizens of the galaxy, do not mourn the weakling Shaw. He would have thrown the galaxy into chaos. I, I am a strong and benevolent ruler, and I promise those not happy with my regime will be given every opportunity to be buried in accordance to their wishes. Oh, Alicia, I've missed you so much. I almost lost faith there, but I'm glad you won. It feels so good to kiss you. And now for the Cyber Race news. Cyber Race Champion Shaw receives the Terra Medal of Honor. The president of Terra cited Shaw's victory in the Cyber Race as an inspiration for Terran forces who will turn back the unlawful intrusion of Caladassian forces into the Terran sector. One moment please. We interrupt this forecast to bring you a breaking story from the black hole. Our man Jinx is the first at the scene at what may be proof positive that there is life beyond the black hole. Jinx? Late today, an abandoned spacecraft emerged from the black hole. Our scans, but we may soon find out. A multi plan The technology appears far superior. Can you give us any indication? New weapons. A new... Vidal, Tehran. What do you have? I'll take... How have they been treating you? All right. The food service is horrible. If I can win a few more races, they'll feed you better. And we'll be together always. The spokesman for Cyber Race champion Clay Shaw said the hero of the galaxy is enjoying the prosperity he has brought to the Terran sector. He praised freedom fighters who rallied after his victory and overthrew the yoke of the Caledonian slavery on seven worlds. All seven have applied to become Terran allies. Okay, Dobbs. I'm not going to race anymore until you release Alicia. Don't get cocky, Shaw. She's still in our custody and vulnerable to many dangers. Do you understand? And I mistook you for a Terran. You're just a draconian elf wad. Lardo, you're pushing your limit. Shaw, you will race if you know what's good for Alicia. I have some new goals for you, Ace. You are to prevent either Punjabi from Drum or Intoshi from Kaladasia from finishing the race. Each one you render impotent will earn you 5,000 credits. This whole thing's a big turn on for you, isn't it? Vidal, Tehran. What do you have today? Das Dizal Kos Glozeklek Grach Dasa Glagar Shalat I'll take both. Klee Kors What can you want? Glez Kors Good, do it. And now, the latest Cyber Race news. It took Terran technicians several weeks to unravel the mystery of the small package that emerged from the hole after the last Cyber Race. Today they announced it is a device capable of automatically piloting Shaw's sled into the best position for firing on his opponent's sled. With the autopilot, I should be able to nail any sled at will. 
Your wings have been trimmed, my friend. I'm afraid you'll fly like a goonie bird. Here are your equipment options. Alicia, it's so good to touch you. I've waited a long time for this. In today's news, Clay Shaw, Hiro Motera, enjoyed a few blissful moments with his girlfriend Alicia before preparing for the next cyber race. The wealth and glory he has brought to Terra has emboldened three whole sectors to at last declare themselves free from Munger's grasp. Allies of Terror, hail a new galactic order. Watch The Galaxy Tonight here on GNN for a special in-depth look at our changing world. Hero of Terra, and I have to get permission from you to be with my girl? Well, you always get a good hour in there before a cyber race. You're all heart dubs. The time has come for a direct assault on Mugyor himself. Destroy him and you'll earn a cool 25,000 credits. Destroy his teammates and earn 6,000 credits per sled. Hidal, Tehran. What do you have? Dust is up. I'll take both. Clay. What can Let's car Good, do it. Here's the latest Cyber Race news. From the Black Hole, the Great Shaw has reaped the bounty of yet another powerful weapon. This one is called the Blinder. Its pulsing flare blinds the sled prey and all of its equipment. Look out, Mugyur. You're in for a fight this time. And next our cooking segment with Wolfson Hop and his sautéed Dino Dram Roast. Stop! Forget about him! Check the sled! I don't know exactly what he did to it, but I'd be careful of that blinder. I'm not worried. Push one button and zap! I blow Mugyur to the far side of Kildorn. I'm really enjoying this cyber race business. I wouldn't break out the sharp plane yet. That blinder has me worried. Here are your equipment options.
I didn't think you could do it, Shaw. But you've made Terra the rulers of the galaxy, and made Alicia yours. You can thank me now for bringing her here. I got your thanks right here, Regalian maggot. The Adelon are most happy that you have been victorious. You are cunning, yet benevolent. Aggressive when you have to be, yet wise beyond your years. The Eidolon? We are from beyond the black hole. You have shown all the attributes we would like to see in the ruler of this galaxy. I have no need for politics. At the moment, Alicia and I have other plans. Young Shaw, there are powers in the universe stronger than politicians. Our people do not want the Terran government as our allies. Only you can bring our galaxies together. Accept the honor, Shaw. We've waited so long. We can wait a few moments longer. You cannot win, Shaw. Fight me if you dare. Alicia! I will accept your proposal, Kali. But first we must get Alicia back. You've made a wise decision, young Shaw. Come, we have much work to do for the safety of your galaxy and mine.